Good morning. Welcome to our morning meeting. We're going to start off by doing our calendar for today. Today is the last day in March and we'll be moving on to another month. Let's do our calendar. Yippee! It's March 2020. Let's make a calendar. Okay. Let's say the names of the days of the week together. Sunday. Sunday Monday. Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday. All right. What day of the week is it today? Today is Tuesday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday comes before Wednesday and after Monday. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Great job! Today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. Okay, it's the last day of March. Do you know what comes after March? What month? April. Okay. Fill in the missing day and date. So let's start at the top. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Can you say Tuesday? Okay. Let's count for the day that's missing. Let's start from 27. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 31st. Great job. Okay, the last day that we get to put Robbie's birthday on our calendar because we won't put it up in April anymore. All right, what background should we choose today? How about the pot of gold? Okay, we're going to save our calendar for later when we need help with our Nearpod. And our Nearpod activity for today will be that, but first we have to go through our questions. Wait until you see the video I have for you today. But first, let's go through and talk about the weather. I'm looking out my window right now, and it is very cloudy. There's no sun to be seen. Do you see the same weather at home? Okay, so our morning meeting question. I'm going to say good morning to you, and you need to say good morning, Miss Megan, back to me. Ready? Good morning. Now, my question for you today is, what is your favorite thing to do with your family? So, I like to go to the beach, even though some people in my family do not like to go to the beach, but that's my favorite thing to do with my family. What? is your favorite thing to do with your family? Okay. It can be something different than what I like to do. That's okay. Can you say good morning to someone nearby? Don't forget to use their name. Now I'm gonna help you ask this question. What is your favorite thing to do with your family? Ready? What is your favorite thing to do with your family. Okay, they may have had the same answer that you had or a different one, and that's okay. People have different opinions. Now let's talk about how we're feeling today. Okay, today, Miss Megan, I feel calm. I don't really feel anything, like I'm not excited. I just feel relaxed. Maybe it's the weather. How do you feel today? Excited? Happy? Angry? Bored? Confused? Calm? Frustrated? Silly? Nervous? Or sad? Can you tell me in a whole sentence? I feel, and then you're feeling like this? I feel calm. 
How do you feel? Very nice. All right. So I have a picture here, and that's my hint to you, this dolphin with an iPad, about what we're going to see when we do our sentence later. Too funny. All right. So our code for today is MKWLG. MKWLG. So go to Nearpod, the Nearpod app or nearpod.com and plug in that code. As always, it will ask you to type your name so you can join the session. I can see all the work that you do. So I type my name, you type yours. Just a reminder that if you need more time and I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video until you complete a page. So after you type your name in, you hit join session. Okay. So on the first page, you're going to put your name. So I'll type my name and you type yours. Can you write your first and your last name? When you're done typing your name, hit submit. Okay, so where do you live? Do you live in Belport, Central Islip, East Islip, Miller Place, Patchogue, or Sayville? Where do you live? You're going to put, click the one where you live, the town that you live in. And when you're done, hit submit. Remember, Miss Megan does, live, does not live in any of those places. So that's why I didn't answer. Okay, so I'll pull my calendar back over. So we can, it can help us answer our calendar questions. This is asking us for the day of the week. Today is, is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday? Saturday and Sunday aren't there because we don't have school Saturday or Sunday. So we need to go to our calendar and find the purple star. Here's the purple star. Now we need to go up, 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 and it tells us the day of the week. Tuesday. Okay, so we're looking for Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday. Okay, Monday, Tuesday. There it is. It's a match. Tuesday and Tuesday on the calendar. When you're done clicking Tuesday, hit submit. Okay. The date today. So the date is the number in the box. So here's our box with our purple star on the calendar. And there's a number here. I'm going to click it. 31st. March 31st. The date today is March 31st. To write 31st, I have to write a 3, then a 1. 31. The date today is March 31st. Hit submit after you type 3 1. Okay, I got a little spoiled today, and my husband made me a delicious breakfast. So today I loved my breakfast. What did you think about your breakfast? Did you love your breakfast? Or today I thought my breakfast was okay. Tell me how you felt about your breakfast. Oh, I forgot to hit submit. When you're done answering the question, you have to hit submit or I don't get to see your hard work. What are you happy about today? Let's see. Today, I'm happy about baking cookies. I think I'm going to make some chocolate chip cookies later. Just to pass some time, what are you happy about today? Maybe you get to do something special after you finish your work. When you're done typing what you're happy about, hit submit. Now, instead of a picture today, I have this picture to show you a funny video. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, it took me a second to find the video. The link wasn't working. But here it is. So I have a video here of a very mischievous dolphin. It plays it again. Watch what the dolphin does. He steals the iPad right from her hand. I'm going to go back. It's very silly. She's trying to take a picture and he just steals the iPad from her. That is not a very nice dolphin. And you could tell he thinks he's really funny. But the woman does not. Okay. So. Let's see what we have here. We had a picture of a dolphin stealing an iPad. What animal do we see in the picture? It's a dolphin. What did the dolphin take? He took an iPad. That crazy dolphin. Where did he bring the iPad? Into the water. How did the woman feel about him taking the iPad? She was unhappy. Now, what color is the iPad? It looks like it has a pink case to me. And what color is the dolphin? Most of the dolphin is gray. His belly is white, but most of the dolphin is gray. Okay. So now I'm going to come up with my sentence. Can you come up with your own sentence? If you can't think of anything, you can definitely borrow mine. Ready? Mine is going to be, I see a gray dolphin taking an iPad in the water. A long sentence. I see a gray dolphin taking an iPad into the water. I did come up with a long sentence. I see a gray dolphin taking an iPad into the water. So I did have to add some words. I had to add A wasn't on my list. I had to change the word take that was on my list over here and make it taking. I had to add the word and, into, and the. So my sentence, if you need to borrow it, is I see a gray dolphin taking an iPad into the water. When you're done typing your sentence, you can hit submit. And that means we're all done for today. I can't wait to see you for our morning meeting in April tomorrow. Great job.